So this is a nice example of a common problem I see with a lot of uh, golfers, especially lady golfers who <clears throat> tend to prioritize when they're starting out on the game to prioritize the importance of getting distance off the tee. It's understandable, you know, to, to be able to get out there and play, but by over-prioritizing the use of the driver um, without checking the technique, um, there are a lot of problems that can occur. So Charlene uses quite a high tee. Um, she's got a nice, powerful turn. But when she hits, um, because the ball's on a high tee, she hits the ball very much on the upswing. In my opinion, excessively so. So if we look here at the direction her club travels after she hits the ball, you can see how much on the upswing she's hitting that ball. <clears throat> now, of the high tee, that, that's reasonably workable. You know, um, it's not ideal. You can see that she doesn't have a lot of release. Her hands get stuck, but she gets the ball out there a fair distance, and that gives an opportunity to play. You can see how, how much she's manipulating things by how poor her balance is, but she's also only really been applying herself to a goal for the last year, so she's still a, a relative newbie. The challenge is what happens with the rest of the game. So when we look at Charlene now hitting a chip shot, you'll see that <clears throat> she uses exactly the same concept or technique. Uh, when she comes through, you'll see the club goes, never reaches the bottom of its arc, it's traveling up after impact, and so she, around the greens, she's highly inconsistent. You know, if the ball's on a nice piece of grass, or sitting up, she's got a fair chance, but here, off the mat, <clears throat> you can see that she hits the ball in the teeth, runs along the ground. And that's really because it's exactly the same error as she's made, um, or she makes with a driver but it's nowhere near as workable with a chip shot. So if we compare now, when we do a little, um, I'll just stop this here. So when we did a little drill with getting her to understand how to hit down a little more, this was fundamental in understanding how to play better short game shots. We did an exercise where I got her to hold the club above the ball, to just go forward and back to develop a little bit of a, a feel or a swing. Remember, this is, this is only a 20, 25 minute lesson. But you'll see now that when she brings the club down, she's forced to hit down into the back of the ball. That creates a really, really nice alignment between her left arm and her club. And the purpose of that is that she can create some spin and you see the ball popping right up in the air and the club staying low after impact. So that's a really effective drill that she did in, in only a, a short lesson to get away from the incessant problem she had of topping the ball and losing her control around the, around the greens. There's even a little bit more release. So if she <clears throat> applied that to her long game and expanded it, then she will maintain her lovely distance, but she'll get a lot more consistency with all of her shots. So it's a common mistake I see with a lot of golfers, especially the lady golfers out there who, um, who struggle around the greens. See if that helps you.